Thanks, guys. Boston is a mecca for Irish culture, but there's one certain holiday every year that seems to bring out the Irish in all of us. Every single March 17th, the bars across the city are filled to the brink, and today, Dirty Water TV is going to take you into as many as we possibly can. I'm Kevin Flight, and this is Boston's ultimate St. Patrick's Day experience. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Our journey is going to start off on Union Street, where some of Boston's most famous Irish bars are located. I love that Dirty Water TV! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Well, there I was at the tap. Why am I talking to you? I flew from L.A. For one day to party in Boston for St. Patrick's Day, that's why. I might even move to Boston because of St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Where have you been so far? On Boylston Street, Boylston Street. Lear. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember now, actually. I didn't remember here. <laughs> Lear was the last car on my head. From now, I can't remember. I am here with John Devadian, and I'm going to ask him the question everyone in the Purple Shamrock's dying to know. Is it true you're not wearing anything under the kilt? I'm going to leave that to everyone's imagination. <laughs> hey, we saw a lot of crazy things out on Union Street. A lot of singing, a lot of dancing, tons of beer flowing. But now our journey is going to take us to the other side of Faneuil Hall. Some of our nation's finest are here in Boston right now, serving in the Navy for St. Patrick's Day. What's going on, guys? Tell us how long you're going to be in Boston for. Just partying it up right now. It doesn't get any better than this. Pisser. Wicked pisser. Woo! Woo! With Pam, our Irish step dancing superstar here. She's gonna show me a couple moves. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think here? Good right? job! Happy St. Patrick's Day from Kitty O'Shea! We do everything in a great spirit here. We're just like the quintessential Boston bar. We love uh, the Irish. We love shamrocks, shenanigans. Now, we've had a crazy time in Boston this St. Patrick's Day, but as Donahue's and Watertown's about to show us, you don't need to be in the city to have a crazy St. Patrick's Day. Hello, hello, a Dirty water, TV, dirty water. We've been roaming around Boston all day, but hey, you guys have proven you can have just as much fun, if not more, outside the city. Uh, you kidding me? This is uh, this is the greatest time of the year. We've been here ten years right now. We got the old brigade that's been in here live since one o'clock this afternoon. It has been rocking. We've got 500 pounds of corned beef. We're flying through it. People coming from all over. I'm well established now. People have learned that my staff and I put on a good show. And you want to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? You don't have to go in town and spend high prices. Come right to Watertown, right here to Donnie's. You got a nice ice cold Bud Light and the Green Lagoons, you know, cheers, and you have a good time. Hey, right Come on, guys, I've had an absolutely amazing day. You know, I can't think of a better place to spend St. Patrick's Day than Boston and all the surrounding towns. Anyway, until next year, Aaron Gobrada all. I'm Kevin Flight for Dirty Water TV.